Solas. This is the Solas Coastal. Can I squeeze through a bush here? I think so. Yes. Okay, so that's the Solas Coastal. It's a single story and I hope, hope I'm getting it because the viewers are kind of getting hit by the sun. Along with my squinty eyes, the sun's somewhere over there. So I'm over at Toll Brothers at Solstice in Welland Park. So beautiful area, community's gated. Let's go inside and have a look at this house. I'm excited. At richnotohomes.com, find the house you're looking for in Central Florida, Orlando, Kissimmee area. Are you interested in a full-time living residential house or a vacation home, investing in a rental income property, thinking about selling your home? Look no further than richnotohomes.com. Dependable help from start to finish. Don't make a mistake along the way. Go to richnotohomes.com. That house we already saw, or well, maybe not yet, depending on if I put the video live or not. I heard voices and I thought that there was a meeting in here, but it's just a TV. So we got a pretty large bed. I'm just, I'm showing you the floor because it has some really good width to it. It's not very narrow. And then we have this room over here. And I, again, I love that the closet doors are not, are not put on. That's a pretty interesting picture. It's the, the of the fish, where it's like two pictures, <laughs> two pictures for one fish. Kind of different. Got these paddles on the wall. Please check out my website at richnotohomes.com. Oh, thank you. Very nice voice. Um, okay, so we got a nice garage here with you know, some extra room right over there. And let's do the foot test. It's a little bit, a little bit tighter, a little bit smaller, but there's about maybe a little bit more than a foot on each side that's about the same nice echo in here got this place for when you walk in to drop stuff off and then over here we have a laundry room So we got a big rectangle, it looks like. In this community's natural gas, you could see by the, the stove, the range top. A little bit smaller of an island, um, it's kind of wide, but you can see they have three plates out, so you could probably squeeze four, four people. Check out this 
lanai and pool. Of course, the pool doesn't come with the house. Very large master bedroom, no doubt about it. So I'm not in the corner because the corner is over here where the, where the chair is. Um, but there's definitely definitely a lot of a lot of space in here. It feels very spacious. And let's see what we have. We got one of these tubs, and the shower looks beautiful. And it drops down, so there's a step. Here's the toilet in the closet. And the master closet. Which already has shelves. There's a good amount of shelves in here. Not a very big closet. Let me flip the camera around. So, um, the camera is about a, a foot lower than the uh, ceiling. So, if you could see, I don't know, maybe. It has some nice, uh, it has some nice room for clothes, but probably not much more. And a master bedroom. So, who's a house like this for? I think if you want a, a, a single story house, but if you don't want um, a single story house that's too big, but definitely feels spacious, has a nice uh, covered patio. That's a good one because there's a lot of um, uh, covered area for, as you can see, they have a table out here and then they, they set up a place to cook with a sink. I like this kitchen. I like this kitchen because the countertops all attach. I don't really care for when there's like little sections because I feel like sometimes they kind of like waste the space. Um, but I like this because everything just kind of attaches. Again, you know, the island's a little bit smaller, but it does have a good amount of cabinets around it, at least in this model. Um, and then down here, which I, which I know I didn't get to. Down here we have this we have this bedroom which has its own private bath. So you got a full full bathroom here. You got your uh, you know you got your sink, your toilet, your shower, and the shower also drops down. So the shower drops down. So that's kind of nice. And then this has a walk-in closet. So if you need a second master, so to speak, with a walk-in closet, you know, this might be the right house. And then over here is a bathroom. So you got your toilet and your sink, you know, you've got your two essentials. Now this is a closet, which to me, I think this is the pantry. And it looks like it's set up as a pantry. Let's get the camera in there. It's a very nice pantry too because you could walk in it. So I think that this is nice because let's just say like whoever's in the master if like they sleep later and somebody wakes up early you know they could sleep here they have their own private bath and then they have access to the kitchen which is right there. It makes it really nice and then there's a good amount of space between these two bedrooms so you know, you have four bedrooms, um, and if like you really needed a three, but you wanted to have an office or a gym or something like that, then you could, you know, turn another room into um, an office or a gym. I would probably do the front room, because the front rooms are usually always the noisiest because they're next to the street. So I hope that you found this video helpful. I do appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Check out my website, richnotohomes.com. I'm a construction trained realtor.
Thank you again. Have a great day. Prior to being a realtor, I purchased a house without a realtor and then with a realtor who had no construction training, no construction certification. And I can tell you that it's extremely important to have a realtor with construction certification. Here's how to get my service paid for by the builder free to you. Please contact me first before you contact any home builder. When you contact the home builder first, you may lose your paid for by the builder realtor representation. If you email them, call them, text them, go to the sales office, walk the models, anything that they can match up at the time of contract, they may say you cannot use a realtor. Please don't contact the builder and ask what their policies are either because that would be your first contact. You see how this works? When I went to purchase my first house, I was given terrible advice. Everybody told me I had to pay for a realtor, which is just not true. I had no realtor and it was terrible. From start to finish, it was exhausting. I was treated poorly at sales offices and after I signed my contract, the salesperson basically vanished on me. It was just a terrible experience. When I purchased my second house, I knew I needed a realtor, so I started searching. I encountered top sellers who seemed impressive, but they were just high pressure sales. They were telling me to go to the builder, tell them I'm your realtor. When you pick out the house you want, contact me and I'll come down and help you. They would show me two homes, three homes, ask me which one do I want to buy. Many of them couldn't even respond properly to an email, which is much like when I help my buyers to find resale homes. Many of the realtors that are selling these homes, it's like they don't even read what you wrote. So my realtor ended up being a new realtor. He was loyal. He went with me to like 20 builders that I picked out. He wasn't selling me out to sales associates. He wasn't selling me out to other realtors. He wasn't selling me out to resale home sellers. He was no doubt on my side. So like most realtors, the realtor that I picked had no construction training, no certification. At the time, I didn't even consider it. As we went from house to house with new construction, with resales, there were times I had questions and he didn't know or he was kind of guessing and he would at least tell me he's just guessing. The information that I received was incorrect. I realized that home inspectors are there to look over a house and find issues with them. But let's face it, the home inspector is with you for two hours, three hours looking at the house that you're interested in buying. Your realtor is with you, if the realtor is a good realtor, for potentially six months, 12 months while a new construction house is being built. Your realtor is going to be the one that's going to be there with you when you're dealing with rude, obnoxious construction managers that are lying to you when the home is built incorrectly and they just want you to just go away. They want you to just sign, say the house is okay, or it's going to be passed off the warranty and that's it. So having a realtor without construction background is not a good idea. And if I was going to be buying a house in another state, even though I have a home inspector's license and I am trained, I would still want to find a realtor that is construction trained because the more eyes, the better. Everybody's going to spot something different. I would even potentially hire two inspection companies or maybe more to look over a house. Just some quick tips. Just want you to understand that. I believe in a comprehensive realtor service where I could answer and guide and look at home inspection reports and have an understanding of what's going on and how to help my buyers best. Thanks for watching this. Back to the video. Mm -hmm.